Yeah, so you read the title. I recorded one word a day of my speaking voice every single day for the first year that I was on testosterone to see and hear how it would change gradually um, with the voice drop. So uh, yeah, this is that. It is uh, not reading like a script necessarily. It was kind of like an original composition, but like I'm kind of saying random stuff, but like I wrote it like chunks at a time, kind of like processing through like what I was feeling in that moment about like voice drop specifically and about like transitioning like hormonally. So yeah, I don't know. It's not that interesting. The interesting part is just like hearing like the difference between like day zero and day 365. Like it's just wild. So anyhow, uh, here it is. I hope you enjoy it. I'm ready. I'm ready to stop letting my fear have the final say. I'm ready to start living up to my expectations of myself. To start facing my fear of the controllable unknown. To live without regrets. As I leave behind the familiarity of my freshly formed adulthood, I look to myself and the unknown within the depths of being and the, the heights of existing cannot remain unexplored undeveloped and underappreciated forever with the ever increasing knowledge of myself comes an ever decreasing fear of mistakes to know oneself is perhaps the first step toward understanding the universe. And intimacy with the universe is perhaps the first step in understanding oneself. From egg to larva to pupa to adult. The cycle of birth, transformation, death, and reincarnation perpetuates for all perceptible eternity. In the grand scheme of the ultimate demise of life, what do we have if not the present moment when, even in its non-ideality, we seek satisfaction and contentment? The universe waits on no one and has made abundantly clear that it has no obligation to me a speck on a raindrop in the ocean of time. No. The universe owes me nothing, and so I must carve out my own existence and be the sole advocate for myself, recognizing that I have an inordinate degree of agency. I hereby choose to seize and exercise that agency, refusing to be a bystander in my own life. Resilience, independence, and self-reliance should not be understated as premium virtues. Virtues toward which I hope to continually make incremental progress. With every passing moment, who I am and who I hope to become inch closer to convergence. I may never know whether an eclipse is possible, and so today I breathe in contentment without complacency. Today I acknowledge the wrong, the grief, the hurt, and all other suffering. Today I turn toward the carefree, the genial, the optimistic and stoic realism. While it is a dense fuel, internal motivation is not an inexhaustible resource that can indefinitely support this carousel, this perpetual motion machine, this dying yet persistent flame called life. Who can hope to understand the universe without first grasping the mystery of oneself? 